Hey guys, welcome to another What I Ate Wednesday. This morning was really chilly, so I made the first hot oatmeal porridge that I've had since forever ago. This kind of oatmeal has been sitting in my cupboard since last winter, and I hoped it wasn't stale yet. It came in a vegan cuts box, and frankly, I didn't actually like it that much, because it had lots of little hard bitsies in it. So of course I put more hard bitsies in it in the form of berries. I love the taste of berries, but I hate seeds. So even though I added maple syrup to sweeten and it tasted pretty good overall, this breakfast was kind of ruined every time I bit into a nasty hard seed. I just hate the way it feels against my teeth. I need seedless berries, guys. Tell me where to get seedless berries. I had tea but totally forgot to save the footage, but I have some morning bevies from you guys. I'm especially keen on this young coconut for breakfast idea. As I'm getting older and feeling it this year a little bit, I've started to take my health a wee bit more seriously and started to take algae-based DHA. Our bodies actually make DHA from ALA found in many types of plant oils, but there is some evidence that suggests that DHA supplements are more helpful. So I'm giving it a go, you know, it doesn't hurt. And since I live in Canada and don't get much sun, I also take a vegan D3 supplement and of course B12, which is the one supplement pretty much everyone vegan or not can benefit from. B12 is also found in all sorts of fortified foods like soy milk and other plant milks, some brands of nutritional yeast, and vegan meat products. Earlier in the week, I went to Costco for the very first time and got a great deal on my favorite brand of bread, Silver Hills. The founders are vegan and all their products are vegan friendly too. On this sprouted green bread, I put leftover vegan chicken salad filled with sweet peppers, celery, cherry tomatoes, veginase, and a bit of that Beyond Meat vegan chicken. It was really good, very filling. I find this bread twice as filling as normal sandwich bread. I was happy to see your sandwiches too. Someone shared this veggie sandwich that they got from Pret. Now we don't have those here, but I know it's a good option for those of you who do have a pret a -Mégie nearby. Is a bun a sandwich? I don't know, but I couldn't resist posting. That and these dumplings. In the afternoon, I filmed the coconut chickpea curry that you already saw on Friday. While it was cooking, I snacked on some cherry tomatoes. These were so sweet like candy to me. Very nutritious and good for you, candy. Then I was finally able to enjoy this dish. If you haven't tried it, I hope you do. It is so good. For me, it brings back memories of being with friends and also one time when I was visiting China and had a similar dish, or rather I ordered a similar dish and two seconds after it arrived, I had flipped the entire bowl on myself by accident and totally ruined my shirt. That was the one I got as a souvenir, so no souvenir shirt for me on that trip. Wah, wah. By the way, thanks to everyone who made this curry and especially those who sent me the pictures. It really made my day. After all the starch that I ate at lunch, I wanted vegetables for dinner. Crunchy, water-filled vegetables. So I made this broccoli salad, which was inspired by one that my friend made uh, for last year's Thanksgiving dinner. I used a pre-made stir-fry mix for this, and I have to say it's been wonderful during this time when my hand can't take all the chopping. I just dumped in some vinegar, vegan mayo, some herbs and spices, cooked white beans, tomatoes, and that was dinner. By the way, since Canadian Thanksgiving is coming up, I'll be sharing some holiday appropriate recipes starting next week if all goes as planned. Are you excited for all the fun holidays coming up in the next few months? Let me know which is your favorite holiday and which is your favorite vegan dish to go with it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and give it a thumbs up if you did. Also subscribe if you haven't already for more meal inspiration videos every Wednesday and new easy vegan recipes on Fridays. Bye for now.